Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. Let us continue with COBOL record section. This is very important because most of the times when we deal with files, SQL, we will be using records invariably. Because to read and write information in a structured manner, we need to use records. If you look record EMP record here, it starts with level 01. Then the next hierarchical elements are code, name, date of birth. But within date of birth, I have given 05 is the level number for DOB. But I will not give a picture class here because it contains a sub record. If you look at this level 5 contains 10, 10, 10, Y, 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 picture class 9999, MM picture class 99, DD picture class 99. So instead of giving EMP DOB equal to which is a picture class 9 of 8, I am declaring EMP DOB itself is a record that has got three elements. So you have got top level record EMP record. There are sub elements within that EMP DOB itself is a record. So records can contain within records. Only thing is who is the parent, who is the child. If you want to determine that, the level number will determine who is at the higher level. I have now defined another record, my DOB. This my DOB again has the same structure as YYYY, MM and DD. So what I'm going to do is, in the procedure division, we are getting the code, name, date of birth and designation and we are printing it. Let us first do it. Okay. Now within this, I would like to display display yyyy of again emp dob of emp record so you can have multiple level qualifications there is a field yyyy that is contained within emp dob that is contained within employee record so if you want to qualify multiple levels in the record field of the parent of the parent so this way you can qualify up to any levels okay now let us save this compile this let us see whether there are any errors uh, there are no errors let us execute this one it is asking employee code 100 employee name as James employee DOB let us give 1997 uh, 0, 3, 15 as eight characters then designation is CEO now if you see here it prints the whole record this is the whole employee record within that this portion is the DOB within that this 1997 that's what we have asked print the YYYY so it has printed only those four bytes of the record this is one way so second thing what we are doing is we have got another structure my DOB okay so what I am doing is my DOB I have declared YYMMDD in the same order imagine I have declared like this I have declared like MMDDYY I have changed the fields my DOB in the format that I want MMDDYYYY now what I'm going to do is move. If I want to move this, let us see how it happens. Okay. Move EMP DOB of EMP record to my DOB. Okay. Now let me display display my DOB. Okay. This is fine, okay? My DOB, come on. Now let us compile it once again and then see. But here there is a problem. I purposefully introduced the problem because uh, there are no errors or warnings. What I have done is the EMP DOB is declared in YYMMDD format, whereas this one is MMDD YY format. This is also totally 8 bytes. This is also totally 8 bytes. I have done a straight move. Move employee DOB of employee record to my DOB, a straight move. Then I am displaying. Let us see what happens. Employee code 123, 
James, uh, 1997 0315, then uh, CEO. So if you see here, 1997 0315 is the date of birth we have given. But we have moved this. My DOB, it has got 1997 0315. No problem because it's a straight move. But the problem here is the structure here is MMDDYY. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to display, okay, display YYYY of my DOB. Now let us see what happens here. You will see a shock over here because we are moving a straight move. If you are doing a straight move, the structures are different, so it will have a problem. Let us do the same thing now. 123 James 1997-0315 and then uh, CEO. Look here, this is 1997-0315. We are moving a straight move of this. But if you look at this YYYY, since this is at the end of the record structure, it is taking 0315, which is not correct. What is our intention is, the YYYY of this record should go to this one. MM should go to this one. The names are same. My intention is, move the, those fields which are having the same names. If you have same names in two records, but the the order of those names are different, then don't use a straight move. There is a verb move corresponding. Okay, You have to use move corresponding or you can use simply say move C-O-R-R. -R. If you use this move corresponding, then the individual components, if the names are same, it will exactly display as it is. Let us check that out. Compile once again. No issues. Now let us run this one. 1, 2, 3. James. And our data of birth is 1997-0315 I gave. CEO. Now look here. My date of birth, it is moving 1997 to the year portion of it, 03 to the month portion of it, 15 to the date portion of it. I have printed here 1997 the YYYY of my DOB which is same as that of your employee DOB. Previously this didn't happen, it just moved whereas the YYYY appeared at the end. Here since you have used the move corresponding, if the names are same, if the element names are same exactly in both the structures or both the records, it will move them accordingly. So in this session, we have seen record within a record like this. This is the top level record, this is the next level record, elements over here. And then when you have two different records, you can do a straight move, byte by byte, it will move. Or if the names are same within two records, you can use move corresponding even if the structures or the order of elements are different. With that, we end this session. Thank you.